Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to spawn the asteroids in Star 1 Defense. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about, we're going to load up Star 1 Defense. Now, when the asteroids spawn, they don't spawn directly on the player, as this would give us some difficulties. Um, we're also going to learn how to make the bullets collide with the asteroids, so that when you hit them, they're actually destroyed. Here's how I did it. Alright, so I've loaded in our Asteroid 1 sprite, and I've called it as such. Uh, I've set the origin to the middle, and I've also made the collision mass precise per frame. This is very similar to what we did to our ship idle object. Uh, so this is just making sure all the collisions and the spawning is going to be correct when we spawn it in. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a new object, and we're going to call this object uh, Asteroid 1 object. And within Asteroid 1 object, we're going to have a simple create event. So within our create event, uh, we're going to set a couple variables. So we're going to first set dice equal to random range 12 to 19. So this will just be picking a random number between 12 and 19. Next, we're going to do dice x equal to random range 0 to 1024. And this is going to uh, have our our asteroid move towards the point somewhere in the room. So it, we are going to add move towards point, and then set these variables inside that. So what this code here is doing is it's having our asteroid once it's made, it will start moving towards a point. This does not need to be in the step event. If you have it in the step event, I honestly couldn't really tell you what will happen. But we are going to have it in the create event. I think it would just continuously go to one point, and once it's there, just kind of spaz out around it, but I'm not too sure. So make sure it's in the create event. We're also going to do an if distance to object, and then our ship idle object uh, is less than 1024 we're going to do an instance destroy. So what this is doing is it's making sure that if we are too close to our ship when we're spawned, it's just gonna delete it. Um, because we don't want any of the asteroids spawning right on top of the player because that can cause some issues. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add another event and it's going to be a step event. Now, since we don't have the actual player moving around, we have everything around them moving around, we need to add this to the asteroids so that the player can kind of dodge the asteroids if needed. So we're going to do if sprite underscore index equals asteroid, roid one sprite, and then a bracket, curly bracket, and then some indents. So this is just kind of a check just to make sure that uh, this will be set up later when we're setting up points. But for now, this will act as a check in our game. Uh, we are then going to do if keyboard check board and then D. And then we are going to have curly bracket, another curly bracket. And then within that, we're going to do X minus equals global dot go fast asteroid. Now we're going to set this global variable in the placeholder object in a moment. Uh, it's a different speed than everything else because I figure asteroids would be a little bit slower than everything else around you. Uh, so that's why it's that. If you want, you can just set it to our global go fast that we've already set, but I just prefer this. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to copy and paste this a couple times. So instead of D, then we're going to change it to an A. And we're going to change this to a plus. Then we're going to copy and paste this. And we're going to change the A to a W and the X to a Y. And we're going to paste it again. And we're going to put an S instead of the W. And we're going to change the X to a Y and the plus to a minus. So this, when they're spawned, it will allow them to kind of move around. Now, we're also still missing one more thing. We need a uh, bullet collision event. So every time the object, the asteroid in this case, is hit by the bullet, it will trigger this event. So what we're gonna do 
is we're going to just add a simple instance destroy and then parentheses. So anytime it's hit, it will be destroyed. And we will be changing this up later, but for now this has very, very basics down. We also need to set the asteroid one sprite to our asteroid one object. So we're now going to go to our placeholder object and we need to set the global.go fast asteroid to 12. So it's slightly slower than everything else, uh, and it will kind of change how things are perceived in the game, uh, which I personally quite like. Now, what we're also going to do is we're also going to set alarm zero equal to room speed times five. And what we're going to be doing with this code is we're going to be setting up our spawning system for our asteroids. And so when this placeholder object is made, it will set alarm zero to the room speed times five. So this is basically five seconds. Uh, and you can change the five to however much you want. And then we're gonna to go to add event and we're going to add an alarm. And this is gonna be alarm zero because, well, that's what we just set. So in alarm zero, it's just going to be instance, instance create depth. And again, make sure you're using depth, instance create depth, uh, random room, width plus 2048 and then a comma random room height plus 2048 and then one and then asteroid one object and then a closed parentheses so what this is doing is every time the alarm is triggered it will be spawning an asteroid and the room width and the room height uh, plus 2048 are again making sure it's not spawning right on top of the player and it will spawn somewhere outside the room and then go into the room and we are also going to add uh, we are going to set another alarm alarm one equals room speed times five so when this alarm has run through it will then trigger this command so we're going to add another alarm and within this alarm we're going to do the same exact code as this you can just copy and paste all of this into alarm one and just change alarm one to alarm zero so this is just spawning our objects on a loop essentially these two will keep looping between each other with a little bit of time in between so let's run our game and see how this code all interacts within our game. Remember, we're still just going for a minimal viable product right now, and we'll be polishing everything up in the coming tutorials. We still have our character, he still shoots, albeit a little bit awkwardly, but our asteroids should be coming in soon since we have it set to five seconds, and there we go. We shot it and it went away. Now, this is very basic, and we're going to be adding waves of asteroids. So instead of just getting one, like we saw, and we'll get another one here soon, uh, there's another one, we're going to add in lots of them, all coming at once, so that it's a little bit more interesting. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. All of this code will be available in the description. I also have a Twitter and a Discord, both are really great ways of contacting me. If you would like any of the assets seen in this video, they are all available on itch.io for $1. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.